Hello, my name is Sheldon Reynolds, former guitar player and vocalist with Earth, Wind, and Fire. And uh, I had the blessing of working with a lot of famous groups over my lifetime. But one of my main interests in life is looking at the stars and understanding where we come from. So here we go. My interest in astronomy began when I was about 12 years old. When my family moved from the inner city, where all the light from the city blocked out any stars as you could see in the sky, we moved to the uh, outskirts where suddenly I saw diamonds everywhere. And I became fascinated with what those diamonds were. And they were stars and planets. And from that point on, I was hooked. I wanted to know the universe. It's a search to understand our origins and is a fascination with all the different things we've learned that are existing in space and time and black holes, quasars, all that stuff is just fascinating because ultimately we're trying to understand where we come from and what are we a part of, intelligent design or Big Bang or both or some combination of all or something we don't even know yet. So there's a, a continual fascination that's as big as the universe itself and I personally just want to know. I'm, I'm never satisfied with just leftover answers that aren't complete. I want to know the details and I'm, I guess I'm just that way. I think the way to get young people interested in astronomy is to give them a better view of what life is about from the beginning. Let them see positive images on, on Earth so when you ask them to look up and appreciate what's above Earth, they're more interested in finding out all the answers we're asking today. Because born out of the young people are our next, you know, uh, travelers and explorers. They may be the ones that land on Mars and Europa and all the other moons and planets and, you know, things that we're in search of now. So I think the idea is to show them what's above, explain to them like what I do sometimes when I see young people and you know, they ask me something about space. I'll say, do you know that there, you can fit a million Earths inside the sun? When you see eyes just go, whoa, that's how you get involved. I believe music and astronomy relate to me because they both affect the same part of my fascination with life. Life is so wondrous and, and filled with so many twists and turns that when you think of astronomy and you think of music, they both affect us in a way of mysterious effect because when we hear music in different parts of the world, it affects our spirit. And we don't understand always the, the lyrics or whatever, but the, the sound itself affects our brain, our spirit, our emotions. And when we look to the heavens, it's the same. It's like when we look in the rings of Saturn. Some people cry. I cried when the first time I saw it. And Jupiter being so big, you see the great red spot. I mean, it just fat, it's just a complete fascination. In addition to that, when you look at the movement of space and planets and the star systems and galaxies, they move like music. I think backyard astronomy can grow because technology now is growing such that we can hook computers up to telescopes in the backyard for not so much expense, and which allow the young people to just not only just look up and observe, but actually see it on the screen and edit their own videos together and become scientists right on the spot like NASA's doing today with these big supercomputers. They can do it with small iPods and iPhones and everything else like we're doing right now. So I think backyard astronomy is, 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 is the future's bright because we are able to use technology to increase our viewing power for little money. We don't need the big, gigantic scopes in the desert to appreciate space anymore.